Okay, so I bought a few things for my Pi 4. Um, this is the case I've, I've built in another video, um, just to make it stable, really. Um, but I'm glad I did it in the way I did, because I've now bought a fan and a fan shim uh, to basically add to the Pi. Uh, and I've also bought an official power supply, because the one I was using was 2.4 amps, and now I'm going to be using a fan. And I also plan to be using an SSD, Although, uh, I'm not sure if you can use an SSD with them yet, but it's, apparently it's coming in the future. Uh, so I've got an SSD drive, which was about £13 off Amazon. It was super cheap uh, on Amazon Prime Day. Uh, and I've got this Caddy, uh, which allows you to just slot in. Uh, that's a physical drive from an old Xbox 360. Uh, and it just slots together. It's USB 3, so it'll be nice and fast, which works with the USB 3 connector on the Pi, so I'm looking forward to that, and I've got my Pi A to A cable, um, so it just means that the OS is going to be faster because of the solid state drive, but also bigger, um, it's going to have quite a lot of room on it, I know you can get big uh, micro SD cards, but mine have been smaller at the moment. Another tip, if you want a, a low powered USB, this this USB, uh, it's, a, it's basically a micro SD adapter. Um, but it, it it changes it to USB. Now these are super low power, and with the the separate thing aside, but it's the only thing I could get get to work with my phone uh, with this Lightning to USB adapter. Everything else is, says it needs more power, so this uses tiny amounts of power. I'll put a link in the description. It's a Kingston one, and it is really good, and it just slots in. And even with my 2.4 amp, a mouse, a keyboard. Uh, Ethernet cable plugged in, uh, all of that would still work with this in. So I've not had a problem with, with not enough power, but I'm not going to now because this is the official power supply. So I'm in the UK, so it comes with a, a UK 3 pin plug and it's got the USB C connection. Hopefully, this isn't wider than my uh, existing USB C cable because, uh, as you probably know, with the Pi. These are very close together. There's not an awful lot of room uh, where the USB-C fits in. Oh, now that feels like there's actually more room. Um, that slots in absolutely fine. So that's going to be better than the solution I have. So that's the power supply. So I'm going to be using that from now on. Uh, here's the fan. And I've got a little tutorial of how to, to build it. Oh, there must be more in here then. Uh, here we are. And this was from uh, Pi Moroni, uh, and I think it was £9.60. Yeah, it was £9.60. And I just figured uh, it was going to fit on this, uh, and it was pretty reasonable, and it, and it came with the adapter uh, or with the cable to go straight on and, and be powered, rather than... I did take a, a fan out of a, out of a power supply from a, an old U-View box, which was broken. Um, but it was a slightly different voltage and there's, there's all the pins to worry about and stuff like that. So I just went official really. So there's not an awful lot in here. So this should be fairly easy to do. Oh, they are all plastic, the bolts uh, and, the, and the screw. Right, so take the fan. It says make sure you've tightened as much as possible to stop vibration. Well, that feels tight enough and it looks just like in the picture. Last of all, push the fan cable connector into the socket on the fan shim. <laughs> I can't get it in there. Okay, so that's in there now. That's really fiddly with my big hands. Right. Friction fit header, that means you don't have to do any soldering. All you have to do is carefully slip the fan shim down onto the GPIO pins on your Pi. So I need to take this bit off. So that can come off. Hopefully nothing's going to get in the way of this fan. So this is going to have to come off, and this. Okay, that feels right. Yeah, that's the only pins that can go on, so that must be right. So it's pretty thin, so it's not really going to add very much, but I might leave out one of these. Yeah, I think I'll just leave one of them out. I mean, it's it doesn't really matter in this configuration. I can go back on. 
that way around. Okay, so we don't need that bit. This is all on nice and tight. You can see that the fan is in there now. So we need to install the software. Okay, so if I go really close to the fan, I don't know if my uh, lapel mic picks it up, but uh, it's pretty quiet. It's, uh, it's certainly working well. Uh, I'm just gonna have a look now. There's no vibration or anything like irritating noises coming from it. So installing the fan shim software. Yeah, so this is the tutorial that I've been working from. You'll recognize a lot of these images. You see that everything was white on, it's black on mine, but they are just plastic nuts and bolts, which is fine. You can see how it fits over in more detail. Right, so terminal and then pop this in. CD fan shim python. .sh They put in here CD examples. We've got CD examples, CD examples, uh, and then sudo dot install service dot sh with a sixty five and five. So let's try that. Oh, fans just gone off. Right, so it's worked. And Chimpan. Right, so this install will run the automatic script in the background. It should even start running again if you shut down and boot up again or reboot. The LED indicates the status of the fan with green, and I have got a green, bright green LED uh, being on and red being off. A long press of the button, put the fan into manual mode, and a short press. Is there a button? Is there? Oh, I can't see it. It's pretty tiny. But yeah, so there must be a button on there to, to manually do it. But uh, so let's see if I can get the fan to come on. If you can hear a fan, it's my son's ordinary house fan upstairs running. It's not the pie. Right, let's have a few games of this and see what happens. I've been playing around with the settings since I can't remember what I've done. Uh, but we'll just. We'll just go with it anyway. Oh. Audio went a bit weird. Oh, graphics look bad, don't they? Blimey. What have I done there? Tiny bit laggy. But let's leave it on this higher setting to see if the fan comes on. I was looking at the pie then. Right, that was my excuse. What's the hard shot? B is it? Right, this is it. Come on. That's about that. It's still, it's still perfectly playable at this really decent resolution. Looks great, doesn't it? I'm impressed. Fan, oh, fan just came on, fan went off for a split second. And I thought it said in the, and I was looking at the pie then. The trouble is with the audio and I can't hear the fan come on, but it's not on at the moment. But I'm, when I looked at it, it was spinning. off. Oh, How do I lob him? 
Is that it? No, that doesn't work. That's got to be it. Still no fan. I'm, when I looked earlier on, oh, and the light just flickered, the red light just flickered. But it still didn't come on. So I wonder I need something that is a bit more intensive than, you'd think this, at this resolution. But I guess, does it get a break because it's not conti continue? Although we had a good rally like this. Oh, double bounce. So did I need a fan at all? Uh, well, I do plan to overclock um, at some point to see uh, how well it's going to run Saturn or Dreamcast games. And maybe N64. But yeah, it's still not on. So maybe I'll try GTA. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? I was happy with that. Right, so let's try. Maybe GTA is what it needs. It needs something a bit more full on. Now, this game requires rendering mode to be set to buffered. How's it know that? They must have running slow. Right, still the fan's not on. Ah, right, okay. This must be what it was on about. The uh, buffered rendering. That's what it was meaning. Right, let's basically play it until. Oh, analog sticks working. Right. Let's burn around and crash and see if we can get it to come on. Oh, I don't want any music. Go away. Right. Nice driving. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Right, okay. So the fan is on. I wonder how long it will take to switch off. So let's, I'll just get in this truck. That looks a bit. Are they trying to get me? No. Yeah, fans still on. Let's drive around a bit, smash some things. I don't really want to. <laughs> That's probably not good, is it? Uh, let's just do a bit of a circuit. Yeah. Right, so let's stop there. No, the fan isn't running now. Oh. Right, okay. How do I get the fan to run then? So there's definitely room to overclock then. Because if I'm doing this and I'm driving around a big 3D environment and nothing's happening, right, I'm going to have that hammer and I'm going to go out maybe uh, as I go further out maybe it will go more I could definitely do with not being sat a foot away from this screen with these graphics <laughs> oh sorry he's alright he's alright it's just a scratch right where's <laughs> yeah you're right to say that that is how I'm driving right where's the Come on. 
Right, where's the door? Gate. Okay, still not on. <laughs> this is just training. They're not actually getting run over. It's just an exercise. Nothing to see. Right, I'm out. I'm out. Okay, let's burn around. Oh, I really could do with being further away. Sorry, watch out. Can we get through there? Right, the fan is still off. So it's doing this and it's not got the 65 degrees. And my eyes are going a bit funny sitting too close to the screen. But if I move back, I won't be able to see the fan running. Oh, the fan is on. Right, the fan's on. Okay, so if I stop, Let's see how long it takes for the fan to, to stop. Because it said something about having a five degree threshold so it doesn't go on and off, go on and off, because obviously that, I guess that would cause damage to the fan long term. So it's still on. Stopped. There you go. So my fan is working. It is cutting in and cutting out. I'm very happy. Um, I'll do more videos on uh, Medlafen coming up with various different systems uh, which I need to get onto. Um, but, uh, but now I've got my fan, obviously I can have a look into overclocking. I'm going to keep reading about the possibility of having an SSD with this. But, uh, but yeah, I'm very happy. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.